Well, hello and welcome to Money Control. You're watching the IPO Corner and I'm your host, Nikki Murchandani. Backed by Rakesh Junjunwala Rare Enterprises, Concord Biotech, based in Ahmedabad, is set to launch initial public offering on August 4th. The pharma company aims to raise roughly around 1,551 crore by offering over 2.09 crore equity shares, accounting for 20% of the paid-up equity at the upper price bank. The issue solely consists of an offer for sale by Helix Investment Holding Company, supported by Quadria Capital Fund, an Asia-focused healthcare private equity fund. Notably, the IPO will facilitate Helix exit, potentially yielding a profit of around 1,075 odd crore. The offer price ranges from 705 to 741 per share. Now, the offering is managed by Kotak Mahindra Capital Company, Citigroup Global and Jefferies India as the merchant bankers with Link Inc. Time India as a registrar. Let's understand the basic details and more about the dates. Well, the biotechnology company offers bidding, is scheduled to commence on August 4th and concludes on August 8th, with the anchor book opening for one day on August 3rd. The IPO share allotment basis will be finalised by August 11th, followed by the transfer of equity shares to eligible investors, DMAT accounts by August 17th. Now, refunds for unsuccessful investors will be processed to their bank accounts by August 14. The company's listing debut on the BSE and NSE is slated for August 18. Let's talk about the reservation in that case. The company has allocated over 50% of the offer size to QIBs, including the anchor book, while 15% is reserved for high net worth individuals, leaving the remaining 35% for retail investors. Investors can place bids for a minimum of 20 equity shares and in multiples thereafter. This implies that the retail investor can start with a minimum investment of around 14,820 for a single lot and the maximum investment can reach up to 1,92,660 for 13 lots at the upper price span as they are permitted to invest only up to 2 lakh in the IPO. Now proceeds to be utilised for Helix Investments, the selling shareholder, will be entitled to the entire proceeds of the offer after deducting expenses and relevant taxes thereon. Well, let's get to know more about the company. Concord Biotechs asserts its position as a prominent global developer and manufacturer of specific fermentation-based API, which specializes in oncology, with significant market share by volume in 2022. Operating in more than 70 countries, including regulated markets, the company footprint is widespread. Notably, its market share exceeded 20% by volume in 2022 for recognized fermentation-based API products. Alright, let's talk about financials in this case. The company has demonstrated a solid performance for the financial year ending March 2023, witnessing a substantial 37.2% increase in profits to reach at a figure of around 240 crore compared to the previous year. This growth can be attributed to strong performance in both top line and operation. Concurrently, the company's revenue from operation has surged by almost 20% to reach to a number of around 853 crore during the same period. From an operational standpoint, or let's just say EBITDA, experienced a significant growth too, expanding by 25.6% to 343 odd crore, while also achieving a margin expansion of 190 basis points, leading to a margin of 40.2%. Now, the company's ROE displayed a notable rise, elevating to 26.55% in FI23 from 16.64% in the previous year. Likewise, ROCE also has witnessed a substantial increase, reaching uh, a number of around 28.5% in FI23 compared to nearly 20.55% during the same period. This also, uh, let's understand now how are the valuations stacking up for the company. Currently, the company demands a PE of around 32.3 times paid to their 523 financials. Other peers like DV's Lab demand PE of 54.1. Sven, for that matter, demands a PE of 30 times and Lawrence is at 23.7. Despite this comparison, the company stands out with a stronger return on ROE profile as compared to the other counterparts. Let's get to know more about the key positives for the company. The first one, it's among the few companies in India which manufactures fermentation-based APIs. That being said, other few positives include operates in a niche segment of immunosuppress and oncology API. Strong balance sheet with negligible borrowings is also one of the key positives for the company. 
along with the higher EBITDA margin, ROCE profile, the company can potentially also benefit from China Plus as there is huge dependence on China for such ingredients. Key challenges that the company is now facing, the first one is the working capital day requirement, which seems to be a little bit stressed, about 230 days, as higher as compared to that of the industry standards. The competitive industry in the formulation business is another negative out there, or just to say, a challenge post for this IPO. An only offer for sale IPO for the PE player, Helix Investment, with a 20% share, who's exiting the company right now. High energy, intensive business is another one. And lastly, about one third of the raw materials are imported from China. Well, with this, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in.